How's it, Andy? Hey, this boy son from San Diego, California, by way of Haleiwa Wailua, class of 79, Wailua High School. <laughs> hey, just want to say thanks for uh, um, the Daily Pigeon Show. Uh, you keep us all close to home, especially for some of us guys who've been away for a long time. But you know what? We still talk pigeon like that, you know? You know how to tune them in and tune them out. And uh, matter of fact, join us. We get one page on Facebook called HPE Hawaiian Pigeon English. Shaka brada. Hey, how's it and welcome to the Daily Pigeon Show. It's the place to be to let the pigeon flow. The Daily Pigeon Show with Andy Bumatai. Mahalo nui loa to you for stopping by. Hey, how's it? And welcome to the Daily Pigeon. In this show, I'm going to follow up on the 747 cockroach thing we were going to do yesterday because I'm going to get plenty of funny comments. So what I'm going to do is read those comments to you and then tell my own cockroach story, okay, that kind of tees off from one of the comments, okay? So uh, hold on. i got to make them more big so I can see them. Here's one from Gretchen Harmon, and she says, OMG, the 747, Scott for life is right. I never stay forget those buggers laughing so hard rob a slipper at the ready for false crack <laughs> thanks Gretchen okay uh, here's one as, uh, this is from Mokihana White oh bro I think maybe the cockroaches will get more big since I was a small kid cause growing up we went call them D52 yeah and now the bugger 747 Okay, you know what? I should have mentioned the B-52 thing. Sorry, yeah, that's my fault. That's why I always put, hey, no quote me, I might be wrong. Because, you know, 747 is kind of a more modern thing. Like, you take, for instance, my daughter, right? She's, what, 24 or something like that? And she don't know B-52. To her, that's one old band. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, B-52, I should have called him that, too. Sorry, yeah. Okay, here's one, another one. Uh, this is one. This one cracked me up here. This is from JTE Designs, and he says, um, I saw my first 747 when I moved to Maui in 1974, my little apartment in Kihi, uh, Kihei, my first... My first night there, I went to the kitchen to get one glass of water, and out of the corner of my eye, I saw these huge four-inch feelers <laughs> twitching on the top of the cabinet. I thought it was some kind of freaky space alien, and because uh, they were so big, and I remember screaming, screaming, holy crap, or something similar, and dashing to the front door where I had left my rubber slipper. Must be one local instinct kicking in. Next thing I knew, that damn thing was dive bobbing me, flying right at me with its eight inch wingspan. <laughs> I screamed and dove for cover. It landed on my lamp and I went grab the slipper and whack them, almost breaking the lampshade in the process. Oh, I didn't weigh it, but uh, I did kill it. I guess about maybe five pounds. <laughs> okay, slight exaggeration, but there was a huge body or whatever. You can read these again. I'm messing it up a little bit. So I joked with the landlord the next day that he should cut my rent in half because for a short period of time, my roommate was uh, almost as big as me. He just smiled and said, welcome to Hawaii. Oh, man, I like that one. Okay, uh, one more, and i go tell you my story then. Uh, this is from, um, how do you say this? Luffmensch067. It says, Oh, Andy, the picture out of 747 went traumatized me big time. i never forget. One fell on my head in the hallway one night, and one another one came zooming right at me in Ala Moana parking lot in broad daylight. Oh, man. Uh, that bugger went chase me in circles, I swear. <laughs> 
<laughs> one good friend will give me one rubber slipper with one long handle like one fly swatter as one joke. Oh, but I won't pack them if I come back, come home for visit. I stay mainland. And even now when I turn on the bathroom light, I look around for one dark spot. Whew, I stay scarred. <laughs> Oh, the cockroach thing in Hawaii. You know, um, in the late, uh, well, like early 80s probably, okay, I was the cockroach man. We used to have cockroach races and do all kind cockroach stuff because I, I went do a, a comedy routine about, you know, the B-52, 747 kind cockroach. And I said, hey, bro, when you spark them in the kitchen like that, first thing you do, right, Back up slowly, try to make eye contact, grab the biggest can rage you get, sneak up on that bugger, and whack them with the can. Cause you know, the B-52s, you spray them, those buggers just go, oh, mahalo for a shower, bro, no problem, man, thanks, eh? You know, so you gotta whack them, right? And after you whack them, eh, you pick them up by the antenna part and flush them down the toilet. And sometimes they hit the water, they come back alive and they scratch and trying to get back up. Oh, no! And the bugger go down. And then, from then on, hey, every time you go for sit on a toilet, eh? You looking, making sure that bugger no, never make free Willie, yeah. <laughs> like, whoa. So anyway, um, I used to do a lot of cockroach jokes. Then, what happened was um, Jay Akuhead Pupuli. I don't know if you're old enough to remember this bugger, but he was just on his last legs when I was first starting, and he got wind of one cockroach race in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. Every once in a while you hear me make reference to Tahlequah, Oklahoma, because um, Jay Akuhe, <laughs> this bugger was crazy, right? He heard they're gonna get one cockroach race. He said, Andy, I'd like to send you and your cockroaches to the race. So I said, wow. So what we did is we had all the cockroach races all over the island, and then the winners I was gonna to take to Oklahoma. Okay, yeah, this was crazy, right? So anyway, we, we started uh, doing these races and here I am after, I don't know, a couple months of cockroach races <laughs> with one bucket, one you know, plastic uh, jar with five big kind of cockroaches, the winner from all these races, right? So I go, Tahlequah, I land, okay, kind of cold, but you know, you're from Hawaii, every place colder. And um, then we go for race. Now, uh, this is how you cockroach race, right? Get one big circle, I don't know, maybe 10 feet, okay, uh, across one circle, right? And then they take all the cockroaches and they put them in the middle and they put one bowl over them with one string, okay? And then they, when I say go, they Pull the bowl up, okay, shake them loose. The first cockroach outside the circle win, right? So everybody, you know, busting out their roaches, right? I bust out my cockroach. Everybody went, ah, it's not a cockroach. That's a beetle or a, a butterfly, or they're trying to tell me it's not a cockroach because it was so big, eh? And I went, ah, you know what? We're no more free season, so oh, all cockroaches, they just go for it, right? So they were complaining. So they had to bring in the expert from the, what is that, anthropology department or whatever, because it was on university eh, where this was going on. And the guy comes, he says, oh yes, these are, you know, Roaches uh, Samoanists or whatever they call them. That's, they're big, right? Oh, okay, fine, so. Now we go outside for race, right? We go outside, was, again, I don't know, was, gotta be 50 something like that you know so we put all the roaches on the underneath the thing right and I go okay go and then they lift up the bowl eh my roach all of a sudden the cold air hit my roach my roach went whoo eh bro you can't put back the bowl <laughs> I'm like Come on, bro. Marochi never moved like one 
in. She just, and all the other roaches, they slowly going to it. I'm going, come on, bro, come on. Uh, big for nothing, your roach. Or however they say it in Tahlequah, Oklahoma. So I'm going, come on, right? And then I tell you what, it's like the heavens parted. Serious, the clouds went broke small kind, right? And the sunlight came through and hit the roach. And bro, you can just see him, you go like this. And his wing came out like that. And everybody went, ah! and he went Fum, fru, just before when not a roach crossed the line. My right, of course, right at me. Ah! Vroom, cross. I won the trophy. How's that, gang? Oh, mean. And then I had to fly these buggers back to Hawaii and we had one celebration on air. Jay Akuhead Pupuli, what a crazy bugger. Mahalo. Anyway, that's our cockroach story today. I don't even know how long this video was. I never time of nothing. Never even changed my shirt, but I got plenty of stuff to do. Hope you don't mind that gang. So Sharon is Karen. No shame. False crack the like button and eh, follow out. Tell me your favorite kind of roach story and hey when a subscribe button come up what you gonna do gang that's right block with your left hook on with your right and eh, hey, mahalo to all that already has thanks eh mahalo nui loa to you for stopping by the daily pigeon show with andy bumatai